Alright everybody, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at Carson Wentz, the quarterback for the Eagles, who had a stellar season, not last year but the year before, came in at number three on the list, even though he went down before the Super Bowl and Nick Foles won it for them. Now Nick Foles has moved on, he is at the Jaguars now, so Wentz is, that's it. The Eagles have Wentz and that's it. I, I actually don't know who their second string quarterback is. So, with that being said, I actually can't remember if he even played last year. I don't I don't I feel like he didn't. But he's still on he's still on the list at number ninety six. Now he went from number three to number ninety six. And I wanna know what the hell happened. So let's get into it guys. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from the only thing we know is oh. I can't remember. Stay together all day. I'll tell you one thing we don't do is we don't lay down. I don't care the situation. We play until this clock hits zero, right? That's, That's exactly right. What a legend. Look it. Wentz firing. Wentz looking. Wentz firing. Touchdown! Less than a year after tearing his ACL, Carson Wentz was back on the field. And now is barely back on the players list. He's like exactly what you would want in a quarterback as far as size wise. Wentz takes the snap. He's back. He's looking. He ducks under the rush. He starts to run. He loves that duck, doesn't he? He's athletic. He's strong. He's not afraid of contact. He's like 6'5", getting down like that. And I think that allows him to really sit in there, shut him off, and deliver the ball under pressure. He's yeah, not afraid to take a hit. Oh my God, Carson is he's like that weird animal you see in the zoo. Like, you don't know what he is, and, but he's a move and everything <laughs> like that because he's so long, and, and that's a compliment. <laughs> Carson is elusive, and... He's actually a lot stronger than what you think. Bigger quarterbacks like Ben Roethlisberger and bigger guys, they aren't as elusive as he is. Oh yeah, I love that little pop pass. Love it. We had him on the blitz, and he got out of it. He gets away from one man. He made a hell of a play, man. Runs to the near side, he dives, and he has a first down. That is a hell of a play. Look at this. The agility on this spin right now. And he got out of it. No, right there. Well, when I first watched it, it looked quite good. Let's watch it again. He had him on the blitz, and he got out of it. It's like a boxer, man. He's just light on his feet, light on his feet. Always toe-tapping. You know, never planted completely. Just always with that opportunity to either go left or right, depending on what the defense shows him. He made a hell of a play, man. And he got a first down. Even on Darius' sack when he had, when he jumped on his back. Darius was like, it was like tackling the horse. He jumped on him, man. The ref blew the whistle. It's a lot of times, man, when you see that cat, you think he's down and he's not. He can actually throw when he's getting pressured. Oh! That was one thing. Did you see that? It was like a... He didn't even get any power on that. It was just literally from the fingers, it looked like. He's down and he's not. Let me have a look. He can actually throw when he's getting pressured. Yeah! That was one thing that I saw that did Beautiful. change from, you know, before injury to after injury. He dashes to his right. What changed? He can actually throw when he's getting pressure. That was one thing that I saw that didn't change from, you know, before injury. Mm, didn't change. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. After injury. He dashes to his right. He dashes to his left. He dashes up the middle. Carson Wentz. Magical. When Drew. Hey, Mike Daniels. Aaron and, you know, those guys retired. Carson's going to be like the quarterback a lot of the guys we've talked about are ultra competitive he's got that gene i promise you we will not quit we will not quit Wentz back he's looking he steps up look how close look how close those quit. defenders are and he's still not, not he's not Wentz back. look at that look at that shit he's got such confidence in his three well his left and right tackle in his center well that's that's the definition of being in the pocket isn't it he's like nah let me out of here Looking, still looking, he fires across his body, and it is done! 
Oh. Talk about my quarterbacks. Mention my name. And that's how he plays. He's already in the lead quarterback. Wentz is rolling. Wentz is looking. He is throwing. Go yourself. You're not telling me that Carson Wentz played the whole season, yet he's only at 96 after being number three. Am I missing something here? Did he only come back for a couple of games? 2019. So on... Oh shit, only a month ago, he signed a four-year, $128 million contract extension, keeping him under contract through the 20 and 2024 season. 2018. June 25th, prior to the start of the new season, he was ranked third overall on the NFL Top 100 players of 2018. It is the highest Top 100 debut ranking in the history of the league. Wentz missed the first two games in an effort to continue recovery from his ACL injury, and Nick Foles remained as the starter. On September 17th, Wentz was medically cleared and retained his starting quarterback role. In his 2018 debut, he would finish with 255 yards, one touchdown and an interception in the Eagles' win against the Colts. The Eagles experienced mixed results with Wentz as the starter. He finished with a 5-6 and six record and passed for 3,000 yards, 21 touchdowns and 7 interceptions. Near the end of the season, Wentz had to deal with a back injury and the Eagles, not wanting to risk further injury, decided to shut him down for the season and put Nick Foles as the starter for the rest of the season and the playoffs. So he played 11 games in total with a 5-6 and six record and caught through for 3,074 yards he threw for 3,000 yards off of 11 games which is not bad considering off of 16 games in his first season he threw for 3,782 and off of 13 games last year or sorry the year before he threw for 3,296 so off of 11 games, which is two games less, he still threw 3,000 yards, which has got to be up there, surely. I'm actually really surprised, guys. I'm surprised he played 11 games, which is a fair few, yet he's only number 96 on the list. I'd, pff, he obviously didn't have a, a crazy season like he did the year before, unfortunately. Carson Wentz, get back to it, mate. You're number 96. <laughs> he went from number three... Guarantee he's got two records now. The highest top 100 debut. And the biggest gap between the first year and the second year of the top 100 series. With 93 places. Anyways guys, that was Carson Wentz. Uh, quarterback for the Eagles. Let's pray, let us pray. Touch wood that no more injuries uh, occur. Although with his style, you know, with his height. With the way that people are coming in to blitz the quarterback at the moment these days uh, yeah. good luck mate good luck Caught! and with that being said let's continue number 95 who's number 95 on the list honestly all I get out of that guys is is my wish that uh, that Carson Wentz stays healthy for the for the next season for this season uh, because I want to see him play and I've got a little figurine of him too from one of you awesome people who sent me an Eagles starter pack last year Apparently I've got a Ravens one on the way, so watch out for that. But uh, in the meantime, guys, we're going to move on. Number 95, Kyle Fuller, cornerback for the Bears. The Bears. Top 100 players of 2019, number 95, Kyle Fuller. I will see you guys in a minute. Peace out.